bogging down for Beckman. There's the chop. That opens the door for Alessi on the left-hand side. Wait for him. And then just coming back to the racing line. Would have been fine if they weren't going three wide, but they were. And as a result, his race ruined. So wide, deep into the corner, off the road. And he just absolutely floored it over the curb. I don't see anything. Now we'll see since the camera embarked from Laurent Vie. Ah, it's clearly an error, unfortunately, of the young Français. And on le dit, ça joue à rien. Il perd son peut-être son repère de frein. Did they touch? But that's exactly what's happened. There's the chop. Leclerc didn't get out of it. Bang! Straight into the armco, and it's taken Leclerc out of the race. But what happened to Alexander Albon? Oh my word! He's just lost it, and that is an, such an unusual place to go off. But from the car on board with the Randy, you can see he's got no control at all. Somehow he didn't collect the car in front. And that was the end of his race. A huge hit, as we see cars all over the road. This is going to be the telling angle then. On board with Porcini. He'd already cut the first chicane. He's just going to be surprised. He's just not expecting in any way the deacceleration of the Genza in front. And that was the big. Today, let's have a ride on board with Fuoku. Now, who's that to his left? That looks like Ocon to his right. And to his left, that is Giotto. Rock in a hard place. Oh, he suddenly realizes he's left his braking far too late. Goes into Marlenbra, into Stuvik. Unfortunately, that was Fuoku. Are we about to see an issue? Look at this. Left and right, left and right. He doesn't know which way to turn and contact. Wow. Well, that was always going to happen. That was always going to happen at one point. That sent Boccalacci off the road. So we're on board. Going into the corner with Pulcini. Here's the contact from Hubert. Surely the stewards will be looking at that. Unlucky to be in that position. It's going to get sandwiched. Very reminiscent of what we saw at Singapore in Formula One a few years ago. And the wheels ripped off in a major way that he wrapped up the title. Pulcini on board with the race winner from yesterday. That you've got. It's all looking nice and calm at the moment, taking the wide line to avoid things, and then nothing. He knew about that as wide as he could be. Goes wide at turn 13, and Hubert's pressure tells on the Russian driver. There's the lockup, and he couldn't keep it out of the wall.